Welcome to this month's So What box, where we are going to make a personalized Christmas stocking. Let's get started. First, we're going to work with our little white rectangles. Place two of them together, lining up the short edges, and pin in place. Make sure that your pins have the colored ends sticking off the edge of your piece. Go ahead and do this with both sets of rectangles. Once those are pinned, we are going to move to the sewing machine and just straight stitch down all the short edges. Make sure that you reverse stitch when you begin and end. And also your seam allowance is going to be lining up that raw edge of fabric with the right edge of your presser foot. When you are done with all of these, make sure that you trim all of the long threads. And then we are going to iron these seams that we just sewed. Lay the fabric piece out like so and use your iron in the center to push that over to one side. When you finish that, turn one of the pieces right side out and then we are going to match up the right sides of these so that the seams that we just sewn are matching with the right side out piece on the inside and the inside out piece on the outside line up the top edge here and pin all the way around. When we've got that done, you're going to take the front deck off of your sewing machine so that we can put this over like a sleeve. Again, line up the right side of your presser foot with that raw fabric, reverse stitch as you go, and sew all the way around this edge. Reverse stitch when you are finished, 
and then trim your extra threads. Now we are going to turn this right side out, like so. Use the stitch line that you just made as a reference point for this fold. Once that's folded along your stitch line, go ahead and press it flat. Now we're going to set this aside and work on our main stockings. Take one of these colors and pin with the right sides of the fabric together as shown. We're going to pin along the whole outside of the stocking shape except for the top edge. When we sew this together we're going to sew all the way around but leave the top edge open so that we can put stuff into our stocking when it is finished. Do the same thing with your other set of stocking shapes, remembering to put the right sides of the fabric together before pinning. Now we are going to sew both of these together, starting at the top edge, reverse stitching, and sewing around the entire shape. Make sure that you take your time on the curved parts. Once you have sewn both sets of stocking shapes together, you must choose which one you want to be the outside of your stocking and reach inside to flip that one right side out. Leave your liner inside out, but put your hand in there to ease the process of putting the lining inside of the outer shell. Once you get that in there, you are going to want to line up these top edges by starting at the seams, just like we did with those top white pieces.
When you've got that pinned, we're going to work with our paracord. Go ahead and tie a knot in it, as shown here. Make sure that the knot is closer to the cut edges than the loop edge. This is going to be lined up as shown on the inside of your lining piece with the knot sticking above the edge on the heel side of your stocking. Pin that in place and then we are going to pin this white piece in on the inside lining up the top edges and the side seams. Make sure that the edge of the white part that you are pinning is the raw edge that has not been sewn yet. Repin around using the same pins that you have used. Then we are going to put this whole sock around your sewing machine deck as we've done before. It might be a little bit tighter this time, but you should be able to get it on there. Now you're going to begin by backing up and then stitching forward just like before. You're going to want to help this one along since it's tighter. You're going to need to help the sewing machine pull that fabric through. Your sewing machine will easily stitch over this paracord string. Just go slow and let the needle do its job. Now we are going to flip this white part over the outside and even out the top fold here. It's starting to look like a stocking. Let's iron down that top fold so that it will stay in place. Next, you will need to cut out the letters that you want to put on your stocking. Once you get them cut out, bring them back over to the iron and line them up on the white part of your stocking with the sticky side down. Then you will want to put an extra piece of fabric or a piece of paper on top and press down hard with your iron for 10 to 15 seconds. Once you've done that, you can peel the 
clear plastic part off and then we are going to recover that and press down again for about five seconds that will just ensure that the letters have sealed on congratulations you just made a super cute stocking let's make sure that we iron this bottom part so that it lies flat and looks more like a stocking and then we'll be finished <laughs>